Hi folks, so I'm going to show you very quickly how to use a better route planner. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up our car because that will give all the parameters that a better route planner uses. So click settings, drop down, select the car model. You can see here the departure SOC, state of charge. I'm going to leave that 100% because when I go on a long journey, I always charge 100%. The reference consumption, uh, what we can do here is say how many miles per kilowatt hour the car will do. Or if we click it, we can say how many watts per mile is used from the battery. So I'm going to go back to miles per kilowatt hour. So I'm going to click on that and just say three. The batteries and chargers, and I have already set these up, but I'll show you. So I'm going to say, uh, let's say Ubertricity, and I want to prefer this. So it will use these Ubertricity, Instavolt and Podpoint as the preferred chargers. But let's get rid of Ubertricity because I don't want to use those. I don't care. I then can search Ecotricity, and I want to say I never want to use this one. So I'll leave that alone. The next thing is the charger maximum SOC. So this will basically say, when I get to a rapid charger, I only ever want to charge to 80% because after 80%, the charge rate drops off on any EV. The speed, I want to do a maximum of 60 miles an hour. And that's, uh, that's set there. Road conditions. I can say it's got a headwind. I can also set the temperature because we know that temperature makes a, a drastic difference on the type of um, efficiency you get out of your battery. Um, this is also saying that I'm going to take 50 kilos of luggage. Once that's done, I click back. My starting point, I'm going to say home. My destination, I've already set this, but I'm going to say Tower of London. I'm going to add a waypoint in as Peterborough because I want to visit some friends there. So, Peterborough. Now you notice that the Peterborough has gone down to destination, so we click the dots beside it and drag it all the way up there. And that's pretty much it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is set my time that I'm going to depart. So, I click the cog beside home, click on departure, put it for tomorrow. I'm going to say I want to depart at 8 a.m. Hit the calculate button. That will go away and calculate the, the timings for the chargers, etc. Currently, it's telling me I need to drive for 4 hours and 8 minutes and I will cover 193 miles. There will be two charges and they will take 20 minutes. I can also see I depart my home at 8 o'clock, which we set. Uh, and then the next thing is I will charge at Shell Newark from 62 to 75 percent and that will mean from 906 to 913 and it will cost me two pounds 17. I will then get to Peterborough with 42 percent but I'm going to leave Peterborough at 11 o'clock so if I click the cog and I say tomorrow I'm going to leave at 11 a.m. Hit the recalc button and it will then recalculate all the extra parameters that I've put in. So the next charge stop after Peterborough is the Great North Road Buckton, where I'll hit that at 26%, charge up for 13 minutes and 60% will be put back in the battery. Then my final stop is the Tower of London, where I'll hit the Tower of London at 20%, at 3.19, that gives you a rough, uh, rough uh, estimate of the time. Now you could click share and you can export or gives you a number of uh, different options to export stuff out on. But I just want to go ahead and I want to calculate my route. So as you can see, this is now done. And this will give you an overview of the map and where you are and your current charging places, etc. And that is pretty much it, folks.